no longer a member of this Shelby family. By order of the Peaky fucking blinders. Wow. He didn't have a major part of the season, but this is major now. I'll fucking come for you. Finn fucked up. I don't know what he was thinking there. Here they come. I would use a decoy or something. Hopefully he has backup too. Three versus one. I think it's for you. Decoy. They used my plan. Order him. Empty the fucking gun, tell him. You are right, Charlie? He's listening. Hey, Arthur. Let's go. Please say there's not more waiting. The fuck? Sniper. I think Arthur got hit. Fuck. That's what I was thinking. What, is it? what if there's more out there? One down, two to go, three to go with the sniper. There's the blood. I think he's leading him on a trail though of his own. A charm the old keepsake. Compassion down. This is going on a lot longer than I thought it would too. Yo, here we go. Special tactics. <laughs> Smoke them out, they won't be able to see. Yo! Ooh, what a shot there! Or shots. Shot, 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 shots. This is what I look like in my GTA Online heist. Get her, boys. Help her breathe before he finishes her off. Gangster as fuck. Her name was Elizabeth Gray. She was my Aunt Polly. My Aunt Polly. Vengeance is for the man. There you go. For Polly. Not in small earth tonight. Rest in peace, Paul. Of course, they saved the best for last. The main thing we gotta see. Michael's nervous as fuck. Hello, Michael. Looking at the time right away, 4.20. Oh. How are they gonna make me dread that time? I've never dreaded that time before. I look forward to it. We want you to take us to where the opium is being stored. And then we will provide you with a banker's draft for the full amount. Let's go. Tommy has to know. He's always one step ahead. I'll go with Tommy. I can't have it the one you time he's not. Mind. He dies for it. Shit. Got me cigarettes. Mm -hmm. He thinks it's over. Mom, it's over. No, no it's not. Wrong car. He's alive. Okay. Took out his goons, now it's 1v1. Johnny! Johnny, where are you? Johnny arrived early, I forgot about him. Just the ticker like you said, Tom. Tell me I've done a good thing here, Tom. You have a really good thing. Goodbye, Michael. Goodbye, Johnny. He's accepting it. Good man. We can't escape you. It's true, but still, he also protects you. Oh, tries his best to. So visits me in my dreams. She'll visit me no more. Oh my god! I have no limitations. I don't need this for my eyes. Whew. I can't believe he actually did it. He ain't gonna be in the movie. Tommy is a fucking G. So is Johnny Dogs though too. You gotta give him his props there. I smell the smell of the roasting Irishman. Oh yes, hello. 
What? So many people, so many times, gonna so much struggle to kill me. I'm fucking done anyway. After all this time, just you and me. They both had so many run-ins with death. I Alfie basically died that. already. Well, Alfie, your opera is complete. There's only one thing I'm missing right now with this episode, and it would honestly be absolutely perfect. I think you guys already know. Her name starts with an L. Yo. Definitely the end of a chapter here. This actually feels like complete. Hey! Best episode ever. All right, I have no complaints anymore. Thank you all for coming. Ada too. Now I'm back where we began. With horses and caravans, vagabonds and thieves. That almost feels right. Francis, sit down, please. She's part of the family now. I'd like to raise a toast. A simple toast. To family. To family. Family. Planning to go on away for a bit. After I'm gone, Ada. In this family, it was you who was born to be a politician, not me. Where's Arthur? He went for a walk down I the road. I back that. Said he's not good at farewell, so he decided to go catch a trout instead. He told me to tell you that where you're going, Tommy, there will I be. Very soon. Love, Arthur. How does Arthur know where you're going, Tommy? You watch him, Linda. You love him, Charles. I think he I does putting it together. You tell her I'm sorry, you hear me? I want you to be the best. Ooh, this is rough. Exactly how long are you going away for, Tommy? This is it. Oh, he's got the haircut. Tommy haircut. Tommy, you tell me right now, where are you going? You have to carry the bucket on your own this time, mate. It's over. This one, sister. What the fuck does that mean? Where are you going? One month later. In the bleak midwinter. Here's children. Did Polly send you? Or am I dead already? No. You're not dead. You're not even sick. But I am, my darling. What? Light the fire again and get warm. And you will see that you must live. It's not over for him. I was scared there for a second that he had already done it. That's why he was seeing her. Oh, man. Oh! The doctor just told, relight the fire and you will see. Get him. Revenge time. This guy is so dead. Have you filled the car with petrol? Said. Have you filled the car with petrol? I knew you were so well connected. Hmm. Oh, and the doctor at St. Thomas is also very well fucking connected. They were playing on the entire time. And then he's offered. I'm guessing you people all decided that the only person who could ever kill Thomas Shelby is Thomas Shelby himself. You may not have to back it on, Mr. Shelby. But you are sick. I'm sick with guilt. Fuck off. Close your eyes. This is it, doctor. Your last diagnosis. It's almost perfect. You live with our. Let him live. I'm just gonna walk away. I feel like he had to go. All right, it is what it is. At least he shot Michael. That was the one that really counted. There goes everything. Wow. What a shot there. How crazy is that? 
I can't believe we... <laughs> it's gone. Like, obviously, we still have the movie now, but the show, the series, is no more. I guess first things first... Alright guys, that was Peaky Blinders, the final episode, the final season, season 6, episode 6, Lock and Key. And what a way to go out. Not many times does a series finale give you everything that you actually want from the episode. And honestly, I was a little bit worried there because we didn't see much of Linda until the very end. So I was going to have one complaint that, hey, we never got any of my girl Linda, but she did show up also. We didn't really get a, a proper final scene between Arthur and Tommy, but we did get a really good one earlier on this episode when it almost brought me to tears. There was a few moments there when Tommy was saying his goodbyes also. Like, man, this was such an emotional episode, but it also gave you everything that you wanted because the deaths, I was happy with every single person that was killed off. We didn't lose any of our main characters. Arthur is still alive, thank God. Linda is still alive, thank God. Tommy is still alive. Ada is still alive. Johnny Dogs is still alive. Thank freaking God. This was such a good episode. I would even go as far as saying this was damn near perfect. The, there's a few loose ends. Like, we still haven't wrapped up the whole Mosley storyline. I'm just, I'm guessing that's going to continue on in the movie. That he's going to be reappearing once again. Same with his wife. And then I'm also thinking that they're saving Hitler for the movie, <laughs> as bad as that is. But I'm guessing that we're actually going to see the appearance of Hitler in the Thomas Shelby or Peaky Blinders movie. I don't even know what it's called. I think I saw something about Thomas Shelby, so yeah, or just Shelby maybe. But either way, I don't know when that's actually coming out, so it might be a while from now. And hopefully it is actually coming out because, yeah, I already want more. <laughs> Peaky Blinders literally just ended moments ago for me. And I already want more. I still have the game to play. Uh, I bought that a little while back. I think during season four. So I don't even know what type of a game it is. I think it's more or less a puzzle game. Uh, some type of strategy game like that. I don't think it's like an open world running around type of game. So yeah, I'll probably still stream that. Maybe a week after I actually post this on YouTube. Because uh, yeah, I'll still need my Peaky Blinders fix. But there's still a lot to go over. Man can't believe it's over like it's just hitting me now like the entire episode i was i was saying like it's ending it's almost over like it's done this episode when i was saying this episode gave me and gave us everything that we absolutely wanted they kind of broke it down to different sections like different scenes the shootout with arthur and charlie as well at the garrison that was freaking insane the entire time that it was shot and that whole shootout went a lot longer than i initially thought it would i thought it would be over pretty quick but no, that was a pretty long shootout. And I was actually saying during the episode, I'm not sure if it's be included in the final reaction for YouTube, but I'm a big fan of the shootout from Bad Boys 2 when Mike Lowry, the camera's like panning around him, going around the wall. You see the enemies around the wall too. It kind of reminded me of that because we were seeing like every every single person hiding behind the pillar, like they're running behind. And then like there's like lightning bolts almost coming from like, I don't know what that was, the power, like power lines there. But that whole scene was so well shot. It's so well acted, so well done. Like I freaking loved it. Thank God. This is what I was talking about in regards to wanting everything from this episode because all series long, Tommy has always been one step ahead. That's the reason why he's lived throughout this entire series like he's come so close to death so many times so many people wanted to kill him so many plans fell through because tommy was one or maybe even 10 steps ahead but yeah i was worried here because this was the final or this is the final episode it was the final episode that we just watched so i was thinking maybe he's not going to be ahead anymore but what we saw go down at the garrison they already knew Arthur already knew that the hit was coming, so thank God for that. And then even back in the house, trust me, I'm definitely going to go over the Finn stuff also. But yeah, even going back to Canada, also Tommy was another step ahead, 10 steps ahead, by sending Johnny Dogs there beforehand. And I kind of forgot that because they did bring that up earlier this episode. It was, it was very briefly said, like, I think uh, somebody asked him, oh, Tommy, you're just going alone? And then he's like, no, Johnny Dog's already already there. I'll, I'm going to meet him there. And then, yeah, they kind of just brushed past, past that point because they never actually said why Johnny Dog's was going there early, why he didn't, he didn't actually go with Tommy. So that was pretty interesting and pretty cool how that all came back because 
I know I'm skipping a, l a little bit ahead here, but by Johnny Docks actually arriving in Canada early, he was he managed to take the bomb out of the right car that Tommy was actually getting into, and I guess you could say put it in the right car, the one filled with the goons, Michael's goons, and took them all out. And he wasn't even fully sure what was going to happen because he asked Tommy afterwards, like, this was a good thing that I did here today, right? And then I mean, he didn't really get an answer, but yes, yes, Johnny Dogs, it was a great thing that you did here today. So thank God for Johnny Dogs. He's the freaking man also. I always loved his character. I think once he became an official member of the family, I think, what was it, end of season one or season two, once Michael, or no, John, John actually got married to Esme, that's when he became part of the family. And that's when Johnny Dogs definitely stepped it up as a character in my books because in my rankings, he definitely moved up the line because he was hilarious all throughout the se the series. And yeah, I just always enjoyed, enjoyed his presence. He was always loyal to Tommy. Yeah, I'm just a big fan of his character. But by him getting there early, taking the bomb out, putting it in the other car, the one filled with the goons, killing them off, and then just leaving behind Michael and Tommy. Man, that was so freaking intense. At first, I thought... Tommy had actually arrived, took the bomb out, and then put it back into the bar there. When Michael went back in the bar, he was going to blow up. That was not the case. I was, I kind of liked it even more the way that this played out here. So, yeah, it was so good. See, having their one-on-one, -on -one, and Michael was even accepting of it. He knew his time was up. Like He's like, Johnny Dogs, you're always a good man. Peace out. And then mid-conversation with Tommy, that's what threw me off. Like, it was so freaking intense. Like, here I was questioning... Is Michael actually going to be able to pull the trigger on Tommy? But the better question was, was Tommy actually able to pull the trigger when it came to Michael? And yes, <laughs> the answer to that question is fuck yeah. Because Susie had the gun open to him and he was talking about Polly. He's like, she's been coming in my dreams. I've been seeing her as well. She's been coming to me nightly. That's not going to happen anymore. Boom. Just shoots him right in the fucking face. Shoots him in the eye. Yo, that threw me for a loop. Caught me off guard. That was freaking incredible. I wanted to see it though, so this episode definitely delivered with that. That was freaking incredible. I loved it. What a what a shot, literally. No pun intended, but that whole scene, that whole scenario was freaking amazing. I was kind of blown away <laughs> at that point. Let's was it behind? Yeah, I think let's jump back a little bit now because the stuff with Finn back in the house. He arrived with his new bestie, the Informer. Here he was thinking that it was going to be a party. And I was saying this back in the garrison also. I'm like, please say Tommy is giving him wrong info right now. And then at one point, the Informer started asking too many questions. And then that's when I realized Tommy had picked up on it as well. So I'm pretty sure Tommy already knew because that's why he was giving the wrong info. But I guess at that point, he, it was really made sure, really made clear when Tommy's like, this motherfucker Informer, he's going to get his. And hey... He's bide his time, he was patient. He wasn't even the one to do it, so yeah. It's so crazy how everything played out. This episode honestly delivered everything that I want to see. Tommy didn't die, Arthur didn't die, Michael got his, the former got killed. Like, the girl that killed Polly, she got hers as well. Man, I, I kind of skipped over that. Arthur actually, let's go back to that before I flash forward once again because that one, I don't even know the lady's name, but the one responsible for Polly's death earlier this season when she brought up Polly's name in the presence of Arthur and Tommy, Arthur warned her like, hey, you don't mention the dead, not in the presence of strangers. And there he actually put the gas mask on her face, let her breathe a little bit more after smoking them out. That was so well done also. So gangster too when they're walking with the gas mask and the guns. Whoo, what a freaking finale this was. And then when he put the gas mask on her face while well, she's like barely breathing, helped her breathe a little bit. And she's like, yeah, vengeance is not done here. And then it's not the gypsy way. He's like, yeah, fuck that. And then he mentioned Polly's name in her presence, the presence of a stranger and fucking shot her right in the heart. Man, Arthur is the freaking man. This is why I always loved his character. And it looks like he is fully clean now. <sighs> Thank, I'm gonna go to that seat after. I'm kind of jumping back there. Now let's jump ahead a little bit. <laughs> Back to the one scene I was talking about at the house because, yeah, Tommy knew it was all set up for Finn and his boy, the Informer. Informer. Thank God he got his. But seeing Finn, man, Finn fucked up hard because they gave him the gun. And then the Informer's like, yes, you got the gun. This is your chance, Finn. Turn it on them. Let's take them out and let's leave. And then I was like, no, he's not actually going to do that. Like, uh, he was raised with these people here. 
And then he actually did it. He pulled the gun. He went to shoot fucking Tommy's other son. So, man, that whole scene was crazy. So much happened this episode, but it was so good. Then uh, that was where he crossed the line. Finn was dead to me at that point, and they saw it too. He he knew he's fucked up. I guess, I'm guessing that's going to come back in the actual movie because he's like, oh, I'm going to come back and kill you. So... That was so freaking crazy that he was out of the family at that point. And then when everybody had their major sit down, when Tommy was saying his goodbyes later on the episode, closer to the end of the episode, he wasn't there. So Finn is no longer part of this family. He is married. I guess technically he has a family of his own, but he's been banished. He will be coming back. This is my prediction for the movie. He's definitely going to be playing a major part. Now that Michael's no more, Michael's gone, Michael got his. Finn's still out there, and he is just brooding right now. That whole scene was freaking crazy, though. I absolutely loved it. <sighs> There's another scene I definitely want to talk about now. It was closer to the start of the episode, but they almost got me at the very start of the episode. Tears almost came falling, and I held it back for the most part, but there was a few occurrences this episode where they almost got me. Like It was definitely emotional, but going back to the first scene that almost got me, it was pretty much what I was talking about before with Arthur and... Tommy, this was pretty much their main goodbye. And now he's not even sick, so there it wasn't even necessary. Obviously, Tommy's still fucked up with what he was saying at the doctor afterwards. Like the doctor was saying, Yeah, even though you're not officially dying of tuber chlorosis or whatever it is, <laughs> you're still sick. And that's not the case. Yeah, he's still fucked up in the head. He still has all the grief and whatnot, but he's not actually dying. So when uh, Arthur found those x rays, man, I almost broke down because. We know how Tommy is, like, he doesn't show his emotions to people, like, when he does have an emotional outburst, that's exactly what it is, an outburst, but for him to, like, hold back and just kind of playing it off in that scene with Arthur, and Arthur, you see him almost breaking down, because that scene showed just how much he cares about his brother, and then he was trying to be, he basically had his, like, big brother moment in that scene also, when they were, like, kind of wrestling with each other, like, he's like, get up, stand up, Tommy, he's like, you're not fucking giving up that that easily and like they basically you're like wrestled for a second there man that was so emotional and then he hugged him afterwards and he's like you're the reason why i'm clean and he was like thank you no man tears are gonna come back right now i still got my tissue here uh what an episode so good this show i can't praise it enough like the acting like I'm, this recap is not going to be good enough for this entire series, so I do apologize, but I'm trying my best here. The actors, man, the writers, the creators, they all did so amazing. I'm a fan of Killian Murphy for life. I don't know. Let me pull up the actual proper cast list because I feel like I should be giving the proper cast list, the proper cast, their due shout outs here. This is the last one I'm, I'm doing for this. When the movie does come out, whenever the hell it comes out, I don't know when it's coming out, but. I will react to that as well, at least for Patreon. And uh, yeah, you can definitely guarantee that. Take that to the bank. But let me just pull up the IMDb page for Peaky Blinders because, yeah, they need their proper shout outs here. This is the final reaction. This is it, folks. I still can't believe it's actually over. So and now seeing 2013 to 2022 and not just a dash with question marks there or a blank slot. It's, it's real, folks. It's actually done. I can't believe... I just witnessed the last episode today. Like I was saying before too, close to a year I've been re reacting to this show. You guys actually chose this show for me to watch. It was this or Westworld. Like it was pretty close in the poll and then this one out. And here we are close to a year later wrapping things up. All right, let me give some shout outs here to the cast. Killian Murphy as Thomas Shelby. Paul Anderson as Arthur Shelby. Not seeing him with a beard in his IMDb photo is super weird. He looks super younger there if you guys pull it up and see for yourselves. But Sophie Rundle, I've never seen that name before, as Ada. She was so good too. And I loved her transformation into the Ada role this final season. Like, it was so freaking good. Everything. This final season was so well done. I have no complaints. I know I said that before with other shows that I've wrapped up on this on my channel, like Dexter, and I, I didn't go back afterwards. I, at first, I was praising the finale for Dexter, New Blood, like it was perfect. Now, having seen it multiple times, it's not perfect, but I still super enjoyed it. I'm one of the few people in the world that actually did enjoy that finale, so I'm pretty much 
I don't want to say perfect just in case uh, if I do watch it back, it's not perfectly like Dexter, but I feel a lot more confident in saying that this finale was perfect. At least this entire final season was, at least for me. I know, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there, and I'm going to see it in the comments, people that have their complaints that thought it was shit. You can never please everybody, but for everybody involved in the show, they definitely pleased me. We're going to leave off. Helen McCrory, obviously, she wasn't really a part of the final season because she had passed. But still, hearing that one quote over and over again, like, one of you will die, it was it almost became chilling, and it almost became a theme of the season. It basically was one of the themes of the season also. Oh, speaking of themes, or I guess overall things for the season, the one, it's not even a complaint, it's just, I guess it could be something that they're leaving for the movie. We didn't get a complete wrap-up when it came to Gina, so I'm sure her name will pop up here while I'm going through the cast list, but yeah, let's let's keep going. Ned Dennehy, Charlie Strong, Finn Cole, Michael Gray, Natasha O'Keefe, Lizzie Stark. And Lizzie, she really stepped it up this final season also. I want to give her extra praise because, yeah, she had a lot of emotional scenes and a lot of stuff that she had to deal with as a character with the death of her daughter. It wasn't only Tommy that was dealing with death, so major props to her. Ian Peck, Curly, and I don't know what's up with that actor, but I... I Hopefully he wasn't sick, but I felt like the final season, you definitely see, like, he was a lot skinnier. So hopefully he's okay, man, because I love Curly. He's such a great character also. Harry Curtin, Finn Shelby, Packy Lee, Johnny Dogs, Joe Cole, John Shelby. He hasn't been with us for a couple seasons, but yeah. And then uh, here's her name, my personal favorite. You guys know the love for that I have for her. Kate Phillips as Linda Shelby. So... Yeah, she was amazing. So I'm so happy that she actually appeared in this final episode as well. I was a little bit worried there, and I almost I was gonna complain. Never mind death of Tommy or death of Arthur. I was gonna riot if she did not appear in this final episode. But thank God she did appear as well. I'm definitely a fan of her, and it kind of caught me by uh, surprise a little bit. I was watching another reaction channel's reaction to I think it was season one or no no when did she actually appear? Season two or season three? Whenever she appeared in the show, but I was watching that reaction from another channel. I think it was Duo Reacts. I love them. And then, uh, yeah, they actually mentioned, I think it was Steve. He was saying that he did not like Linda or he's not a fan of her character. And I was like, I was hurt. I got hit in the heart. Like, my soul, what? You're not a fan of Linda, my favorite character? So that leads me to believe that not a lot of people actually like her character. Is that a hot take, me liking Linda? Do... Do other people out there not actually like the Linda character? If you guys are out there, I don't know. That might be a hot take. Maybe I'm in the minority and actually liking her character, which is just crazy to me because I absolutely love her. Like, she is perfect. But, yeah, that would definitely uh, catch me off guard because that caught me off guard when I was watching their reaction. He's like, oh, not a fan. And I was like, what? Linda, she's so sweet. She's so pure. Like, she's God's child. <laughs> I have always had a love for Linda. Maybe it's just me, though. I'm crazy. I fully admit it. But, yeah, let's keep going here. Amy Effion Edwards. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Esme Shelby. I'm so glad that they brought her back as well. Tony Pitts. We didn't see him. Sergeant Moss. Benjamin. Can't say that last name. Jeremiah, though. And then Isaiah Jordan. Bulger. Tom Hardy. How did I almost forget about him? I'm so glad that he came back for the finale also. Came back for the final season. He was basically killed off already for him to come back at all. I think he first came back last season. Or what? Or when he came back from the dead. Was it this season or last? I think it was last. But yeah, this show, man. There's so I have so many great memories. So many great moments of the show. I really love season four with the Italians. I did get one comment before that uh, they didn't actually like Adrian Brody's performance. And there's another name that I only see in the top of the cast list because he was only there for one season. But... He did phenomenal as well. Maybe I'm in the minority for that also. I thought everybody in this show, their acting was top tier. You guys let me know that they have won awards before. So I really hope this final season wins a bunch of awards because it is definitely deserving of it, at least in my opinion. Another hot take for you. I don't think that one's a hot take though. But yeah, thank you guys so much for choosing this show for me to watch. Thank you guys for watching along with me. This has been a wild ride. I know it's been close to a year. Like, I didn't post it every single week, but I tried my best. Either way, we are here. The timing worked out perfectly, actually, when the final season was airing. So, yeah, God's plan. It all worked out in the end. I can't freaking wait for the movie. I'm definitely going to be playing the game probably a week or so after I actually post my YouTube reaction for this finale. And it might even have to be in two separate parts because... 
yeah, this was a longer episode. I think it was runtime about 81 minutes or around there. Wow, I'm just blown away. It, it, it was so freaking good. Definitely let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. I'm not even done yet because <laughs> I still want to talk about more. I feel like this overall as a series, it deserves a little bit more. This episode, this series finale deserves a little bit more. What else do I got? I want to give another shout out to Polly also. I know she passed Helen McCrory, RIP, once again. But she was incredible throughout this entire series also. What, like her performance, powerful. Like even though she had passed, it wasn't officially a part of this final season, her presence was still felt throughout. That's how strong of a character she was and how important of a character she was. I definitely wanted to shout her out also, but yeah. Where we go from here with all these characters, Tommy surviving in the end, I don't know what is actually next, what the movie's gonna entail. My best guess can actually be Will, well, I guess this is my prediction. I kinda already brought it up, but Finn, I think he's gonna be reappearing once again. He basically tried to leave everything to his family. Like he left, he said his goodbyes, but now that he's not dying, thank God for that. He could take hold of everything once again. And I also forgot to bring this up, but he blew up. He's basically back to the start where he started which is kind of crazy because yeah he blew up his mansion he doesn't need that anymore like i guess it gave bad memories also and this i'm kind of glad that i kept going because speaking of bad memories that he had after the death of his daughter ruby when he was close to killing himself and he already tried to kill himself this season that was in the season premiere if arthur and lizzie didn't take out the guns he would have been dead already so i don't know why i was doubting it so much like that final scene when he was taking off all his jewelry and everything and he was looking at the pictures and he's just like I'm like there's no way he's actually to go through with it and then it hit me like he already tried to go through with it already why am i doubting this right now and then when he held up the gun that's when he saw the vision of ruby and i wasn't sure if he had already done it at that point like is this the the tommy shelby afterlife is this what his daughter waiting for him like that's what you would want to think heaven is right but thankfully, no, because he even asked, he's like, am I dead? Like, did I pull the trigger? Like, is this it? And then his daughter letting him know, and Polly as well, like, no, it's not over. You're, you're, the flame just went out, go reignite it. And that's when he saw the paper, and it was half burnt away too, the photo from the wedding that he didn't go to, because he had to deal with the stuff, Michael in Canada, and the money. Wait, did he get the money too? That's another thing that was kind of left unanswered, so I'm guessing that will be another part of the movie. Uncle Jack, Gina, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens with them, but I don't think he actually got the money, the money because they never signed over anything. They were going to go see the drugs first, the opium before signing over the money. So I'm guessing, yeah, he doesn't even have the money anyway. That was kind of left off the table, but he got rid of the house with the bad memories and then he's basically back to where he started. That's what he was saying at the end when he was saying his final goodbyes too. So crazy when we saw when he lifted up that one newspaper, he saw the photo and the doctor there at the wedding. It all worked out at the end. What a crazy vision! What a crazy show! I can't praise it enough. It was so good. This finale delivered everything I wanted and more. I don't have any complaints. I know, like I was saying earlier, some people are gonna have complaints. You can't please everybody, but they definitely please me. One more time, let's just give them a standing ovation because. So good. Thank you for everything, Peaky Blinders. I love this show so much. I know my cat's looking at me like, what the fuck are you clapping for? <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. I usually clap loud like, hey, get away from that. But yeah, this is it, guys. Like I was saying, thank you so much for choosing this show for me to watch on that poll I did. Once I do another poll with once Game of Thrones actually wraps up, and I might even be done that now that this show is done and Game of Thrones, or sorry, The Walking Dead is on hiatus. I think until August or October, sometime around then. I'm gonna have more time to react to Game of Thrones. So I'll probably be doing two episodes a week for that. And I only have one season left and it's a shorter season also. So yeah, I'm probably gonna be done end of the month, end of April, start of May with that show. And I will do another poll from there. And yeah, you guys will decide what is next and then what the future holds, I have no idea. But when the movie actually comes out, I do promise you guys, I will react to that as well. I'll try and put it on YouTube for the people that did follow along also. But yeah, with my editing style, you already know <laughs> the copyright. Copyright claims are gonna hit me hard. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. This was Peaky Blinders, the show. It's over. Finito. Done. No more.
go home. What are you still doing here? <laughs> Ferris Bueller style, but yeah. I don't know, I'm trying to think like what is my favorite season. I really, really enjoyed season four. Which season had the Duchess? We didn't see her return. That was, I guess that's one of my only other complaints, or May. The women of the show, I love them all. <laughs> I just love women, but man, they were all so classy also, like the old fashioned styles that they had, they were so good. When it comes to favorite season, I don't know if season four is my favorite, but it's definitely up there. Season five, I don't know, that might be one of the weaker ones in my opinion. I still enjoyed it, but the stuff with Mosley, I can't believe he's still around. I just wanted to get rid of him. So I think we're still gonna have to deal with him, Uncle Jack, Gina Gray, and Finn in the movie. There's probably something else I'm forgetting, another villain or antagonist. We didn't see Sabini come back. Isn't he still alive also? It'd be cool if he does come back for the movie also, but uh, yeah. Hopefully this movie does happen because they left a lot open here. But in terms of the TV series, I also felt it was a pretty damn, pretty close to perfect finale. So yeah, no complaints for me. 10 out 10, 11 out 10. I loved it, but I'm gonna wrap things up. I think I'm just about done here, guys. I pretty much praised it enough. You guys are like, all right, enough of the praise. But yeah, hopefully uh, you guys enjoy me for whatever I do react to next. Thank you so much once again for joining me on this journey. It's been going on for close to a year now, which is just crazy to me, but this journey, is now complete. Thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Honestly, I appreciate it. You guys were freaking awesome. But yeah, for the last time, definitely let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys can like, subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. Till next time, I am out. Enjoy your day. Peace. Well, I didn't smoke enough for you. Didn't drink enough for you. Was it fun enough for you? Was it good enough for you? Did you play me like a yo-yo and shit? Well, I am not the one to be yo-yo. And when you put that shit on me, then I watch you leave.